All right, guys, so check this out. It's been 52 weeks since I bought these two red tailed catfish. One full year. <laughs> and look at how big they are. They are huge. Monster fish. And they've only just begun. Uh, look, look at his belly. He still has quite a bit of a belly on him. And I fed him the day before yesterday. So I'm starting to think maybe you could feed these guys every third day. I just did a water change yesterday. Look at how clear the water is. No catfish foam at all. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, it's not quite as late as I usually feed them. Yeah, it's about five o'clock. Dinner time. So it seems like they seems like they eat more later in the day. Seems like if you if you kind of get them, <laughs> look at how lazy he is. He's a lazy fish. That's pretty funny. Seems like if you, if you try to feed them like at noon, it seems like they're not really that excited about the food. They're, I think they sleep in the daytime. <laughs> All right. Wow. Whoa. Uh, got pieces falling apart here. So it's, I'm kind of getting better as far as how much to feed them here. They're starting to eat a lot. Maybe half a fillet <laughs> together every other day, which is pretty wild. So it's pretty incredible how much they can eat. Because I feed them quite a bit, and I think, oh, they're just going to sit there and chew it for a while, and. A couple seconds later, they're back for more. I'm like, wow, I can't believe they're eating more. So far, no fighting, which is awesome. Uh, I saw one guy on YouTube, he had a really big tank, had multiple red-tailed catfish in there, and they were beating each other up pretty bad. And uh, he thought it was the, the males and the females kind of beating each other up, so... I don't know. Someone thought I might have two females in here, and that's maybe why they're not fighting, which would be awesome. I'm not quite sure I can tell the the males from the females, but they're doing good. Fins are perfect, 100%. <laughs> they're getting some really fat bellies. I don't know. As much as I'm feeding them, I'm thinking maybe every three days now. It's pretty wild how much they can eat. It seems like they have a really slow metabolism. Wow, oh, they're coming back for more. That's incredible. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna eat it. <laughs> he's gonna eat it. All right, we're getting down to the last little bit here. Let's see if they come up for more. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. They're looking. Looking pretty full, pretty content back there. So yes, I have two catfish in my hot tub. This is a little hot tub in my basement that I haven't used for like 15 years or something like that. And <laughs> is he going to eat it? <laughs> He's so full. He's barely going to eat that. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, so I'll take this filter out and. We'll uh, feed them the rest, let it kind of float around, and then I'll clean up with a net, and we'll do some underwater video. I have a waterproof housing for my action camera here. I've been recording in the highest quality, so the quality's coming out pretty good. Oh, I forgot to bring a towel out here. Uh, yeah, I knew I forgot something. <laughs> I want to flood out my wooden little stair there. Uh, I want to move my, I have to move my food over a little. <sighs> All right, it is week 52. I have a little cheat sheet, keeping track. One year, one year anniversary of the Catfish Channel. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. All right, so. Uh, I'm feeding uh, cod, tilapia, and mahi-mahi that I get from the grocery store. Alright, so I'm going to finish up with some underwater video.